all the evil is lights coming out another week, the pulse side downfall of America, which is Egypt, Rome, all over again. Before we kick things off, we'd like to give all credit to the Father and Son, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Double honor to the elder, great millstone, for passing up the torch, rock down, rest the oxen that's doing the work sincerely too. Now today, this weekend, we got a hurricane that's out here in Florida, mainly South Florida. You got people running around the Home Depot and shit, so they think it's a time of hurricane. But really, it's a time of judgment of the Most High. That's right. That's right. That he's bringing. Right. You know, it might hit New York, depending how it turns. But we're going to continue doing the work and break down the, um, the Bible the best way we can. Go ahead, bro. This is Luke 12, 56. Come on. You hypocrites. You hypocrites. Go ahead. You can discern the face of the sky. Yeah, like like our people. They, they'll come outside, and they'll see it's cloudy. <laughs> oh, shit, it's it, it about to rain outside. They'll try on Channel 7 News, whatever local news that you watch. You saw tell them that you, you got the Category 1 hurricane that's coming here to South Florida. That's the only sign they're able to see in the world. You know? But our people don't know that it's a sign of judgment. The Lord is bringing judgment right now to South Florida. You know? Read it again, Mark. You hypocrites. You hypocrites, because two thirds of our people are hypocrites. Go ahead. He can discern the face of the sky yep. and of the earth. Of the earth. You you able to tell about basic channel on local news. But you, you can't break down the Bible. You, you might see martial law troops, but you still can't discern like what the hell's going on. Because you don't got that spiritual eye. The most side opened up your spiritual eye to see or hear. The only thing you know from the weather, man, that it's about to rain. It's about to be a storm. That's right. That's the only thing you know. Go ahead. But how is it that ye do not discern the time? This See, time. Yeah, this time. What time we in? We in time of war, war three, right. according to the Bible. But our people think, yeah, it's, it's kind of wise to still go to Home Depot and board up your windows. You know, shield your house, get some bottle of water. But at the same time, you should know that it's a time of war, that these crackers are ready to announce martial law, crash the dollar bill system. That's, right. That's the real time you got to know. Right. But our people don't know shit, man. That's right. Oh, there's just no cheeseburger and clubs. That's the only shit you know. There's 57. Yeah. Yay. And what? Oh, no, give me wrong news. Romans 13, 11. 13, 11. Romans. Go ahead. Yay, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? Yeah, people can't judge what's right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go to like a local restaurant, people have an option. You know what I'm saying you, you got a you got a, um, a rice mixed with vegetable and chicken, and you got another option. You got brown rice mixed with vegetable, but the meat is um, pork. Guess what our people gonna pick? They gonna pick number two. They don't, they can't judge from right to wrong. You just know wicked to wicked, wicked earth. This is Romans thirteen and eleven. God, and that knowing the time. You knowing the time again. This is Paul speaking. He let you know you gotta keep up what's going on today society. Local news ain't gonna tell you what's really going on. Fox News ain't gonna really tell you what's going on. CNN is not gonna tell you what's going on. They they gonna they gonna give you some bullshit lie. Some fat ass guy that weighed 300 pounds shooting some news reporter. Know what I'm saying that was that was all made up. You telling me you ain't see you ain't hear a fat ass guy that's coming to the news reporter? He's making all that goddamn noise. And he was walking on wood. He was not walking on no concrete. He was walking on wood. So you couldn't tell me he ain't hear the fat guy that weighed 300 pounds coming. I'm saying? So he was just reading the script. Go ahead and get your little um, suku soku toy, your little gun, and play it off. Because he was shooting at the reporters. He was shooting at his... Play the show, that box.
Because the, the 300 pot guy, he was shooting at the reporters. He had f about like at least three good shots pointing at him. How come they just ran by like 10 feet? If they really got shot, they would have been laid out. So they were, shoot, they were shooting number blanks. You know what I'm saying? They were shooting number blanks. That's why CNN is bullshit. Right. But our people going to take that in. They, they're going to actually believe it. What CNN tell them? Go ahead, bro. This is Romans 13 and 11. God. And that knowing the time that now is high time to wake up out of sleep. Out of sleep. That's why the most high wake us up a couple of years ago. Wolves, wolves, deep asleep. We was drooling. The most I slept us up. Going back to the milk. Going back to the, we part of the 12 tribes of Israelites. The Lord is a black man, according to the Bible. We woke up. We, we seen the signs of martial law. Because Jake so asleep, they, they can see, like Boston, what happened in Boston. They can watch a lot of videos on YouTube about martial law. Jake might be all into it for like an hour or two, but guess what? He gonna say he just gonna roll up a blunt and forget about it. He just gonna smoke his problem away. That's what Jake gonna do. By doing that, you you going back to spiritual sleep, and you taking custom of the other heathen. Cause we never, the Lord never told us to smoke herbs. The Lord never said to smoke the herbs. Messing up with the the elements, lighting up fire. We supposed to boil the herbs, not smoke it. Stay, so stay asleep, the Lord's going to wake you up. You better off, we wake you up. Because the Lord wake you up, that is, that's it. Because when you wake up the last second, it's, it's going to be fire. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Uh -huh. Salvation is near, and we ready to see it. Because even, even when our elders woke up to the truth, you know what I'm saying? They even thought this shit about to kick off World War III. How, how much more we in 2015? And that was decades ago. So you never know. Martial law might happen today or in the next five years. But we got constantly at the door because salvation is at the door. Got another one. All right, this is Micah 3 and 1. Good. And I said, here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, uh -huh. and ye princes of the house of Israel. Yeah, we the, we the princes of um, um, we the princes of the earth. Just like Vegeta, so I'm, I'm the prince of all Satan. We we the princes, man. We the kings. And Vegeta, he was in the he was in the right spirit. Vegeta was in the right spirit. You know. Go ahead. Is it not for you to know judgment? Yeah, we know the judgment. And we fear the judgment of the Most High. That's, right. that's, that's the beginning of knowledge, to fear the Lord. Because right. we won't be out here every week if we ain't fear the Lord. That's right. Let us take a vacation for three months. Man, our subconscious is going to fuck with us. You know, the Most High might plant dreams that you, you getting tortured in the concentration camp. And if you calling on the name, and the Lord, the Lord put in your thought like, I don't know you no more. You, you done. That, that put fear upon you. Go ahead, Ark. Verse 2. Who hate the evil. Hate the evil. And love. Ha see, hating pork. That's hating evil. Hating homosexual. That's a perfect thing to hate homosexual. Transgenders, you see that everywhere around here in America. Mainly America. So it's a righteous thing to hate homosexuals. You lesbians. All you people that's in the Catholic Church, the Norman, the Baptist Church, we hate you. That's right. Go ahead. Like who, who hate the good and love the evil. See, it, it's a balance. We just ain't going to hate, hate, hate. We, we going to love the good. What, what is good? Following the law, statute, commandments. You know? Who pluck off their skin from off them and eat the flesh from their, off their bones. Uh -huh. Not literally, you know what I'm saying? Because some things you gotta, you gotta give up in this world. You, some things you gotta put down, and you just walk away from it. 
Just like a female you had in the world. I'm saying that bitch probably like to hang out, party all the time. But she was, she was like a she was like a bull. You have to put that bitch, you have to let that bull just free. And that bitch gonna give you problems. Cause even watch while watching these dumbasses on a bull, what happened when you ride a bull for five seconds? Your ass get flipped off the bull, and then that bull might step on your goddamn balls. Know what I'm saying? So continue with that damn bitch bull, she, she gonna give you problems. This is 2nd Exodus, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure down the time diligently. That's how we measure it. We, we looking at what type of propaganda that Esau pushing out. Even with the harp system, what happened in um, China, right, I believe? It was China, that fake bombing. We measure the time by, a hey, Esau uses his new weapon. Is it the harp? Is he using the harp? Or he used some weapon that we don't even know about. It's, it's even, even that back big. It's that big. Esau using a new weapon that he's going to use for the day of martial law. But he was testing out. Oh, I might say them Jakes over there that got fucked up, so-called fucked up. You know? Because when I had watched the news, I'm looking at it. I ain't, I ain't seen no blood. I ain't seen no blood. I ain't seen no dead bodies. But you said thousand people died. What what the evidence? What the body bags? I don't see no body bags. You know, but that's how we measure time gently. Because here in America, they're gonna start having, you know, when you go to the restroom, you got the male and the female, but now they got they got the female represented with the dress, and you got the uh, male figure with the sticks. Now it's it's gonna be both restrooms. So the transgender, they're able to go in the bathroom, you know. That's letting you know the time we wax, America is waxing worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? Because you might go in the bathroom, you, you thinking, you think he gonna sit down and pull out the rod, the nigga might sit down and pee. Because his, his rod got cut off. Go ahead, bro. He answered me then. He answered me then and said, Measure down the time diligently in itself, and when thou see parts of the sun pass, which I have told thee before. Yeah, like the red moon. That's part of the sign. That's one of the signs. But when our people see it, they, they get all bent out of shape. They get all bent out of shape. By um, Obama, a couple weeks ago, he just announced male and female homosexuals, they able to get married and have kids. He, he wrote on that piece of paper, on that dotted line, says it's legal, all 50 states. By doing that, we know the time is getting just an inch. It's an inch closer. Because it's just like a football game, man. We're just getting closer to the touchdown. The touchdown is the missile sitting. Look at fire. Go ahead, bro. Then, then, shall thou understand that it is the very same time. Yeah, we understand why Obama signed that, that dotted line. You homosexuals, you know, I'm, I'm going to get you benefits. Don't worry, you don't got no job. I'm going to give you a $25,000 loan. I'm going to give you health insurance, dental insurance, care practice insurance, car insurance. So all these benefits go for the wicked. But what the righteous man of the Lord get? Fucking fifty dollars off food stamps. They they cutting off your art from your job. Now you gotta work two to three jobs just to make up that forty hours a week. Know what I'm saying. See everything's backwards in America. That's why we say this place gotta go. What? Well, Red, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah. You don't want the Lord to visit. Hey, look at Isaiah 296. Lee, you don't want the Lord to visit. Because it's the only good news for the elect. So when the Lord visit, it's, it's gonna be problems. You know how niggas in the hood say, you don't, you don't want me to come in your block and visit you. <laughs> you don't want me to visit you, because it's gonna be some problems. It's either it's gonna be a drive-by, 
or y'all gonna, gonna come do some business. But what? See, going back here, what's going on in Florida, the Lord about to visit. The Lord about to put his little signature on this hurricane that's about to happen.